be sharing some Pottery Barn inspired Dollar Tree DIYs and these DIYs are so pretty. For a very long time I've been wanting a smaller ladder and I'm going to be showing you how to create this smaller ladder for as little as $3. I'm going to show you how to do it using some Dollar Tree products and then Dollar that is Pepper making that noise. And then using some non-Dollar Tree products just in case you cannot find the Dollar Tree product that you need to create the ladder. I've been so into creating ladders on my channel since making my Dollar Tree ladder and I try to use different items every single time that I do it because I know that people had a very hard time making the Dollar Tree ladder just because, you know, not every single Dollar Tree carries the exact same product. And then last week I showed you guys how to make it out of wood from the hardware store. This time around it's going to be a mixture of two. So like I said, you get an idea um, just in case you cannot find one or the other. So I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. I absolutely love them. I already have them set up around my home as decor that's just going to stay there and I'm not going to like toss it and get rid of it. No, this is staying in my house. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. I'm very proud of this one. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the tutorial. So let's start with the ladder. If you're going to make this from only Dollar Tree products, you want to pick up their rolling pins. You'll probably want at least seven of them two for the left and the right side and then three for the steps when purchasing the rolling pins you want to make sure that they are similar in height and size sometimes you'll run into ones that are a little bit smaller a little skinnier so try to get them as close to each other as possible if you cannot find the rolling pins you can always go to home depot and get three balusters for 87 cents each that is going to cost you under three dollars you'll need one for each side and then one to create the three steps that you need now to attach everything together i'm going to be using wood glue and for my ladder i used a mixture of the rolling pins and a mixture of the balusters so i had balusters for my sides and then rolling pins as the steps you can use just a roll rolling pins and you would just attach two ends of a rolling pin to each other to create the sides that you would need or you could just use the balusters cut up one of them to create the steps like I said I am using a mixture of the Dollar Tree products and then the stuff from Home Depot to show you how it would be whether you used one or the other either one would work out for you and I, like I said I just used wood glue it works for me this is not a ladder that I'm trying to actually step on wood glue is going to hold it together just fine if you want to add nails if you want to add screws that's all up to you so this one in particular cost me five dollars to make but like I said you can make it for three dollars if you want to and if you're using just the Dollar Tree products it's going to at least cost you seven dollars now you can leave it that unfinished wood color I decided to stain mine with min wax wood finish in dark walnut I just took a microfiber cloth that I cut up from Dollar Tree dipped it into the stain and then I painted it if you decide to stain this thing even if you bought the smaller stain you're gonna have a lot of stain left over for other projects now I decorated this I used this little fleece blanket that I got from Dollar Tree it is a baby blanket and then I'm using this small little cotton wreath that I got for three dollars at Hobby Lobby now you can make the wreath using Dollar Tree products they do have have wreath forms you can buy and then they have cotton stems you can buy but if I could buy it for three dollars and it would cost me more to make it from Dollar Tree products I'd rather just go to Hobby Lobby get that wreath and use that to hang the wreath I'm using this command strip I got from Dollar Tree you can always use a nail especially if the wreath is heavier um, you can use some like ribbon to tie the wreath around if that's even if you want to put a wreath on it I showed you before if you haven't seen my other Dollar Tree DIY ladders ways to attach baskets and ways you can attach pictures there's other things you can do if you don't want to put a wreath or like a blanket on top of it but anyways that is how I created this miniature ladder that is perfect to place on top of stands bookcases something smaller that isn't just directly on the ground leaning against a wall now moving on to these beautiful pictures. How beautiful are they? So I was actually inspired off of this particular image that is above 
my little like window looking thing i don't know inside of my house i forget what that thing is called anyways i really wanted to make smaller versions of this so to create them i am going to be using these 8x10 canvases that dollar tree carries and i'm going to go ahead and take the canvas part off all you have to do is just rip it off you'll probably need a pair of scissors to create a hole in the center of the canvas and then rip it all off comes out pretty easily if you want to remove the staples on the back you can go ahead and do that i didn't remove the staples in my opinion honestly there's no point you're not going to be staring at the back of this these canvases have real wood so i'm going to be staining the wood i'm using this vera thing i don't know if that's is how you pronounce it wood stain in dark walnut this is not like the minwax dark walnut in my opinion it's more on the orange side and it's not as dark so i went ahead and stained my frames using that actually in one of the picture frames the one that is going to have bless our home i used a little bit of that minwax dark walnut to make it slightly darker than the other frame so what you want to do is you'll want to go to Google Images and find some pictures you would like. What I did is I typed in home is where our story begins and found something that I like and I typed in bless our home and then you just print it out. I used regular printing paper. I am not a fan of the shine that comes from photo paper. So I just used regular printing paper so, so that it would be mats. And then what you'll do is you'll take your canvas, place it over the image, figure out where you want the image to be trace around the canvas and then cut the image out of the paper. I'll try to remember to link down in the description box the pictures that I use. Sometimes I forget to do these things. I am sorry, but I'm gonna try my best to remember. Now the next thing you'll do is you'll glue that paper to the back of the canvas. I just used hot glue. You can use whatever glue you like. If you want it to be a little bit more secure back there, you can always add another canvas so that the paper is wedged in between two things. Now this is where it gets super pretty. From Dollar Tree, I'm going to be using this wired jute cord. And then from Hobby Lobby, I picked up this greenery. It is from the His and Hers collection. It's normally priced at $1.99, but if you get it half off, it's a buck. I suggest waiting till it's half off or use the 40% coupon you can get online. So what I'm doing is that I'm taking that garland and creating a small little wreath using it. Once I get it down to the size that I want it to be, I cut off the excess garland and then I just wrap the greenery around so it's like wire, like I said, so you can wrap it around so that the wreath doesn't keep opening up on you. Then I take my jute cord, I take a tiny little piece that I wrap just around the top of the wreath and then I kind of bend it a little backwards so that there's a nice base for me to use my hot glue to attach that to the top of the canvas. So it kind of looks like a little wreath that is hanging down from the canvas. Y'all, this is so pretty. I just want to go to Hobby Lobby, get more of that garland and just make a bunch of these and put them all over my house. They also carry this garland on Amazon and I know this for a fact because I used a bunch of this garland at my wedding. I used it to wrap around fairy lights. Here I am making a bless this home one. Whenever I print any of these images out, I always have to adjust the image. So when I click print, I go to the print, print setup page and then I have to scale it usually bigger though so if you're gonna use the images I use and I remember to link them down below remember when you're printing them you have to go to the setup page and make it bigger so that it kind of covers most of your printing paper you'll see what I mean you might have to print out a couple of times to figure out the exact sizing that you'll need but that's how I do what I do I don't know I, I don't have Photoshop or anything like that so it's not like I can make like some pre set up picture for you guys i'm just gonna put what i used that is it for the images and that is it for this video like i said i want to make more of the images they are so pretty and i absolutely love the ladder i've always wanted a smaller ladder like i said so i hope you guys enjoyed this video again and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching take care bye just cannot film with this dog around i was thinking of using this scarf on the ladder and she stole it. She also stole the little fleece tag right here. She's, she's very complicated right now in her teething stages. But oh my gosh, she is so freaking cute. Aren't you, Pepper? Aren't you, Pepper? Aren't you cute? Yes, you are. And you're nuts. You're all sorts of nuts. I love you, though. Love you a lot. Okay, you're nuts. No biting.